I often do MSNBC. I'm doing CNN tomorrow, the show that replaced Late Edition, but I don't do it every week. Have you seen any Socratic interviewing while you've been here? Socratic interviewing? Yes. What is that? That's when you examine a person's premises and see if there's a contradiction between what they think as they sit and some other conclusion that they hold that contradicts that exact same conclusion when they're sitting down. Well, this is know, what Socrates did with his, uh, that's why they call it Socratic interviewing. Yes. It's like you know, what they do with their disciples. In order to bring, him around, bring somebody around to the right conclusion, mm -hmm. he would ask them questions that would lead them to the realization that they have a contradiction in their mind. They believe yes and no about exactly the same question. So if that happens, we would be sure to know that there's a mistake in the person's mind, right? Well, that sounds very interesting and thoughtful. So, do you use any Socratic interviewing in the USA Today, or have you seen any on TV? I'm, I have, I'm not used to it myself, not consciously. I suppose no. sometimes there are times when you interview someone, and an interview that's in depth, that right. takes some time, uh, where you might look at contradictions in their assumptions and presumptions. Uh, but that is not something I ordinarily do, and I'm not aware of seeing other places do it. Have, have you seen other places do it? Yeah. Well, that's what I do. I do a Socratic interview, and I wanted to see uh, see what you thought of it. As yeah. Part of our interview here. You know, a lot of very good journalists find contradictions between what a politician said today and what he said before, and they also do a good research and they find a contradiction between what he's saying now and what he did before. Mm -hmm. So, what he contradiction between what he does and what he says, or between what he said before and what he says now. But what I do is I find a contradiction between what you say now mm -hmm. and what you say now. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> in other words, it's right there in your head at the moment. So that that really shows that the person is confused on the issue. And so I, I wanted to give you a chance to take a look at uh, an example and see uh, what you think of it. Are you going to give me an example? Of I could, Are and uh, I want to look we could do all sorts of things. And have fun. Like here's here's what we can do. <coughs> you can watch me interview the the candidate. I'll try to reveal a contradiction in the scene. Mm -hmm. See if I reveal it or not. And we'll be the judge. If I do, will will you agree that then he must have a mistake in the scene? Well, I don't. I think it would. I would depend on what um, I saw. On any because question, they say I chew. I'm chewing gum now, and say I'm not chewing gum. Yes. Now. You got. There must be a mistake. Well, in that case, on the chewing gum question. One or the other would be correct. Yeah, both things, could not be true. Both could not be true at the same time. So if the person believes both, we know they have a mistake of conclusion in their mind. Um, yes, or they misunderstood the question. Oh, but um, that's also possible. Or uh, oh, they, yeah. they had been a real chewing gum. Right. Yes, not a it's real not contradiction. A, not a real right. contradiction. No, I'm, I'm talking about a real contradiction. It's more likely to happen, I think, when you interview people in politics or about 